For a company to reach the golden standard of customer service, they must do it the Nordstrom way. My name is Sandra Rodriguez, and this presentation is entitled, Why Nordstrom Makes People Smile. I will be discussing the company's customer service. Now, the, fo the founder, John W. Nordstrom, arrived to New York City with $5 to his name and not a word of English. But in 1901, he was able to partner up with Carl Walton and open up a small and humble shoe store in downtown Seattle. John's approach to business was to provide customers with exceptional and quality product. John and Walton's philosophy was that the customer was always right. Then, at the time of John's retirement, his two sons, Elmer and Elliot, decided to take over the business and even bought out Walton's share. They started posting flyers everywhere saying, if we sell well, tell others. If we don't, tell us. Then, around the 1970s, the company decided to go public. Within two years of going public, sale revenue skyrocketed to almost $100 million per year. Then around, the then around 1998, Nordstrom tackled on the global revolution of technology and launched Nordstrom.com. Nordstrom.com now currently operates in 96 countries and with almost 400 Nordstrom stores in 39 U.S. states and Canada and 194 Nordstrom Rock, Nordstrom has official plans to open up in San Juan, Puerto Rico in 2016, among further plans to open up in the Middle East and Europe. Now, how have they been able to expand their horizons outside of the United States? It's simple. Supply the people with quality service, and they're going to demand more of it. How famous is their customer service? Well, just say their name, and you're automatically going to think customer service. A book with two series have been written in which they discuss and glorify the tactics Nordstrom uses to, uh, to, they've, they've used to reach the customer service in which they currently have now. This book is even taught in certain universities as part of their curriculum for business students. Now, Starbucks chairman and CEO Howard Schwartz says, the Nordstrom way is the perfect example of how employee empowerment is a direct link between building a lifelong clientele. More companies should follow Nordstrom's customer service. Among Starbucks, other companies such as Apple, Google, Amazon.com, Saks, Fifth Avenue, and Bloomingdale's all mimic Nordstrom's customer service. Nordstrom customer service is so famous that there have been many cases in which industrial spies end up working for Nordstrom. Now, their employee handbook is said to be one of the most effective because they only have one rule, and that one rule is to follow, <clears throat> that one rule is to follow your, be your best judgment. After that, there are no further rules, and employees are, current, are always encouraged to ask questions. They, Nor Nordstrom focuses on hiring the small and developing the skill. Aside from their customers and competitors, they f supply exceptional customer service to their employees and vendors. Steve Matter recalls the first time he was invited to go to a Nordstrom meeting. He said it was like visiting the White House. Now, Nordstrom employees go out of their way to go above and beyond for every customer. There are millions of testimonies in which customers which to glorify Nordstrom and thank them by giving them the fame they have today. And one of those stories that help reach Nordst that help Nordstrom reach the fame they have today is the famous wedding ring story in which a woman lost her wedding ring and a store security and custodial staff opened up the vacuums, polished her diamond and returned to her. Among another one is the tire story. Nordstrom does not sell tires, but yet a man was able to get a refund for his tires at Nordstrom because he was a loyal customer and they wanted to do that for him. Nordstrom, <clears throat> Nordstrom has had all of the reasons to become successful. And let me finish with a quote from John Nordstrom, vice president, in which he states, we are not obligated to any financial to any finance, we are not, um, excuse me, we are not obligated to any financial number. We are not obligated to any retail market. We are not obligated to a certain number of gross profit. We are obligated to customer service. Thank you.